Hey, what's up guys? Mendel here. Hope you <coughs> Corona. Hey, what's up guys? Mendel here. Hope you're all doing wonderful. So I was filming at my uh, buddy's place, WD, some, some cool compressor stuff. And then I got a message from uh, UPS that my uh, quad Cortex arrived. So let's do a cool uh, unboxing and some uh, first impressions because I'm gonna make a ton of videos about this thing. So uh, here we go. <laughs> So here we go. Okay, okay. Whoa, it's like a professional book. That's really cool. So it's like a like an actual book with like really high quality, nice glossy print pictures in it. We'll dig into that a bit time later. To, I have to give it to them. This is like one of the most impressive packaging things. It's like, it's like opening an Apple product or something, or something from, I remember when I had my first phone, like the OnePlus, the first one. Just slide it out. There we go. All right, there we go. Uh, all right, here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, so there it is. It's built like a tank, Jesus. Sure it's not German, it's Finnish. And over here we have, let's see. So a nice, thick, big, that's what she said, a USB cable, I always like that. And a power adapter, and yes, with different regions, like zones, plugs. And we have a cool guitar pick. It's actually from the material that I really like, so I'll keep that. And there are, I think these are like for on the bottom, so it doesn't shift and stuff. I think these are like one of the stickers, sticker thingies. That you like put on the bottom, so it doesn't slip. Cool, all right. So um, let's let's boot it up. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, cool. There we go. All right, I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna plug in and uh, get it into Cubase so we can record some stuff and go check it out. Here we go. Alright, so it's been a couple of days, um, I was playing with it for a couple of days, and um, spoiler alert, I'm loving this thing, really. Okay, so um, so my first thoughts, basically, that, that's what this video is about, my first thoughts of the first couple of days. I like basically everything that's in here, the thing that doesn't resonate with me, and that's mostly a taste thing. I guess are the built-in cabs. So, um, so what I did, I loaded up my my own IRs, impulse responses that I've been using for a long time because I personally think they sound better. And that's what you're hearing. So this is one of the um, the impulses I have. <laughs> For an example, if I would change that 
to something else. So let's say um, the built-in speakers and let's go to a Mesa cab because Mesa book is always a good choice. So I noticed that from the Mesa cabs that's in here, I really like the, what was it? It was the traditional AV3092, I believe. That's the one I like the most out of them. I don't know, it, it lacks some, in my opinion though, it's like, they're, they're not bad, but just it's my taste, but it lacks some certain punch. But like, the, like how it works is amazing. Like, you, just like their Neural DSP plugins, you can load up your hour and like move the mic around and stuff. So if I would mic a cab, it would be around here, like on the edge of the cone. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should check it out in the mix uh, in another video to really see how uh, how I like it. But um, so what did I load up my own? Uh, or one I I imported from something else. So this is one of my favorite IRs. <laughs> Yeah, and I have to say how it works, like setting up your own preset, that's the like the biggest breach of my life of my versus work on a camper. This is like I would say like this device, the Quad Cortex, is like the, the Apple product of the music industry. It's um, I'm a big Apple fan. Not because it's a big company or anything, but it, like I have my iPhone since 2015 and it, the same one and it still works flawlessly. So and they really thought it out, like the whole touchscreen thing. Like for example, if I want to duplicate something, for example, I could just drag it over here. That's really clever, that, that stuff. Same thing with this. And I could, for example, say, I'm going to use the same input, input one, but on this one, I will use a different cap. So just let's say, let's use the ribbon one from, um, from Neural DSP. So let's send that out to one and two. This one out to one and two. And also let's copy the noise gate. Like, and just like that, I copied the signal and duplicated it and that's something you can do on the camper so that's a big plus and you can do like four of them and even i was mixing a couple of bands uh, this week and i was reamping multiple channels through this so that's flawless love that so i also created this clean patch which i really like so there's a fishman fluent 7000 pickups and i'm into the single coil mode Stunning. And um, let's just go like create a patch. That will be the easiest thing. So I'm just gonna grab a clean preset. So this is nothing. Clean guitar. So let's load in, I don't know, um, an amp. So not a neuro capture, but this is like the built in amps. And let's take a, I don't know, 
EVA Shift 153 red, red channel. And now I'm like, okay, I don't want to have a noise getter from that. So just drag it around, press that, go to utility, done. Let's put a cab in front of it. And for the sake of it, just let's just use the built-in uh, the built-in cabs. There we go. That one sounds pretty decent in my opinion. And I said you have a good tone like that. And like when I want to save it, just press that. Uh, let's just call it five, fish 150, I don't know, something easy. Five, seven, seven, just for the sake of it. <laughs> Sick. And for example, let's make a lead tone out of it. So I'll just turn down some of the bass, perhaps some treble, some presence. That's cool. And let's add some reverb and delay. So I like to have delays going into the reverb. A whole reverb, put that at 30%. That's what I always do. And put a delay also at 30%. And I have to admit, it, it, feels, it feels like an amp. That's such a big important thing for me. Yeah, and I'll make another video about things I would like <laughs> spoil as I am, but things I would um, love them update or change. But let's turn these off for now. <laughs> So yeah, my first thoughts are I'm very impressed. Um, at this moment, I like it better than the Kemper. And there's another video coming up where we are comparing it to the Kemper. So make sure you subscribe and uh, you will see that coming by. But yeah, very, very, um, very impressed. So those are my first thoughts. I'm curious what you think. Do you already have your Quad Cortex? Are you gonna get a Quad Cortex if you don't have one? Uh, also curious if you have a camper are you gonna get a quad cortex and sell your camper let me know but my first thoughts are i'm uh, i'm very impressed the whole workflow like i played with it for a couple of days and i instantly know how it works it took me a couple of hours but that's with any new device but um yeah very impressed it, uh, it feels really good which is very important to me, and it sounds very good so um more videos coming up see you next time cheers <laughs>